All right, welcome back to the Engage activities. Uh, today we'll be going over, just to review, right before we go into logarithmic functions, just a review of exponents, um, specifically those that are negative in nature. So you'll see here it says rewrite x to the negative 3, y to the second power using only positive exponents. Well, the good news is that y to the second power is already positive. Um, for y to the negative 3, just so you know, we can write any negative exponent with a positive exponent by merely just writing the inverse or reciprocal um, for that one. So let's say, for example, it was x to the negative 3 power. We could write that as 1 over x to the third. So we can simplify this a little further since they are being multiplied together. I'm going to write this over 1. What's 1 times y to the second power? y to the second and x to the third times 1? x to the third. Now a really important question because you're going to see this in some of the problems in your packet. Um, what if I had something like, I don't know, a to the negative fourth um, and b to the negative third. So what I can do is rewrite this as um, a to the negative fourth divided by b to the negative third. And I'll just rewrite these as 1 over a to the fourth divided by 1 over b to the third. And then just remembering how we divide um, fractions uh, remember, we change that to multiplying. We flip the second fraction. And we keep the first. So that would be b to the third and a to the fourth. Um, in fact, one student even said, you know, if I really wanted to just rewrite this, essentially they just kind of switch places. Um, b to the third is now on the numerator side instead of denominator and a to the negative fourth is now on the uh, denominator side, now that it's positive. So just keep these examples in mind. I know this one was the one that's in your packet, and this one's just an extra example, but go ahead and stop here and try and do the ones in your packet for the engage activity. And I hope you did that because we're moving right on to rational and radical exponents. So this is a review of actually the last credit we did, credit 1b of uh, Algebra 2. So the way we would re rewrite this using rational exponents, remember that's just another fancy way of saying fractional exponents. So that would be a to a fraction and b to a fraction. Remember we put our um, outside radical number here and then our inside radical inside. Okay, um, so that would be 6 on top and 4 on the bottom, and 4 on the bottom and 4 on top since there's a 4 and 4. Now if we can, let's simplify these out. Um, so even though 4 can't go into 6, I'm sure that can reduce to what over what? What would 6 over 2 reduce to? I'm sorry, 6 over 4, I should say, 6 over 4. And that would reduce to 3 over 2. Oh, sorry about that. 3 over 2. Um, whereas 4 divided by 4, that can be divided, and how much would that be? 1. Um, just as a reminder, um, let's say you're given something like, um, I don't know, square root of x to the third. Now, a lot of students are wondering, well, I know what my top number is going to be. What do I put on the bottom? So if you don't see a number here, there is a 2 on the outside there. And then another question could be, well, what if I see something like this? 
Well, again, there's a 2 outside there. And now you're wondering, well, what do I put on um, the numerator side? Because there's no number there. Well, every uh, variable does have an exponent, and just like every number has an exponent, which is 1. So just keep that in mind. I know this may or may not be examples, so these are just extra examples um, just to remind you of some stuff that we um, kind of went over in the previous credit. Just like it says here, um, pause here and do the problems in your packet. All right, I hope you did that because we're moving right along to are you ready number 16, reviewing more exponents. So here you're given um, 40 times x to the sixth power times y and 5 times x to the second power y to the fifth power on the denominator side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide our coefficients, which are these numbers here, 40 and 5. And then um, here we're going to subtract our exponents of like variables. So x and x both have a 6 on the numerator side and 2 on the denominator side. For y, now I know you're, what you're thinking, well I have a, a, a 5 here, but where is my exponent here for y? Remember our exponent's 1, so that'd be 1 take away 5. So let's go ahead and uh, simplify this out. 40 divided by 5 would be how much? 8, and then x, 6 times, take away 2, 4, and y, 1 take away 5, negative 4. And then it says rewrite using positive exponents. So remember if we write this as a positive exponent, essentially it's going to go in the denominator's place with a positive exponent of 4. Okay, use this as an example, but just like it says here, stop and do the problems in your packet under exponents. Are you ready, number 16? And last but not least, the last engage activity from uh, Are You Ready, number 16, solving equations with exponents. So just as um, your notes probably list here, we're going to first try and isolate x by first getting rid of whatever is being added or subtracted. In this case, we're going to get rid of this negative 1 by adding 1 to both sides. That's going to cancel out and we're left with 4 equals 2x to the 1 third power. Now there is something being multiplied to that x. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So we're going to divide both sides by that. That's x to the 1 third. 4 divided by 2. Awesome. And we simplified that. Did that. Did that. Um, now we're going to do is we're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal of 1 third. And the reciprocal of 1 third would be what? 3 over 1 or 3. So we'll raise that side to the third power and to the third power. That's going to cancel this out, and I'm left with x equals what would 2 times 2 times 2, because that's essentially what 2 to the third power means. 8, right? Just like it says here on the very bottom of the screen, um, stop and do the problems from your packet. We will be back on the next video to go over 15.1. Remember, there's only four lessons, so hang in there.